going in all. I'm going to build a little bimble. Bloody hell, this road's rough. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just uh, coming to Sedba. And we're going on a... Trying to find a little road that um, my wife and I, when we go for our little picnics in the, either the van or the car, we've seen this road that seems to skirt the Howgill Fells. So uh, I'm on a bit of a mission today to try and find it. I've had a look on Google Maps or and Google uh, Earth, and there's no sign. It don't, it don't, it don't say to anywhere. So. There might be a bit of turning round and whatever going on today. It's a, it's a bank holiday Thursday for the uh, Jubilee celebrations. Now, as you know, I don't normally ride on a thir uh, bank holiday, but um, as we've had absolutely awful weather recently, we really had to get out. So I've come out quite early, so it's about 8 o'clock when I left home. And uh, there's hardly any traffic on the road, so that's a bonus really. Hopefully they all got bladdered last night and uh, they're having a lie-in this morning. Now we're looking for a nice posh house on the right-hand side. And then there's a bend. Uh, I'd say that was the posh house. There's a left-handed bend, and there should be a turning to the right. I reckon that's it. Narrow, isn't it? I meet a tractor up here, do I? It's almost inevitable though. Anyway, uh, oh, sorry, I thought I saw I thought I saw the sun glinting on something then. What was it on? Time has finally come. It's my 60th birthday on Sunday. 60. How the bloody hell did that happen? Oh, now then. Anything goes up here, doesn't it? Um, yeah, 60th birthday. Anyway, my uh, best bud from back in the day, and we've 
he, he says we're brothers from another mother. Pete. He's coming up on f uh, tomorrow, tomorrow night, just for the night. So that'll probably end up being a bit messy. But when uh, me and Pete get together, we uh, we uh, just reminisce, and we but we instantly go back to when we were like seventeen. Well, I was nineteen; he was seventeen when we first met. And we instantly go into that stupid bloody mode. It's funny, it really is. Remembering this and that and whatever. But it kind of, it kind of made me think about when we used to go out normally back in the day, just to, you know, razzing around on the RD400 or on the 404 Z650, that kind of thing what we wore. You know, we had, had our leather jacket, uh, gloves and helmet, and the rest of it was just jeans and trainers. But now when we go out, we're a bit more savvy I suppose, aren't we? And uh, I mean here's me now in my Oxford uh, jacket with back armour, shoulder armour, elbow armour and my Frank Thomas trousers with knee and hip armour and my RSD boots ah, it's funny isn't it how times change how we sort of like almost wrap ourselves in cotton wool but I understand why don't get me wrong I'm just it makes you wonder how we got away with things I mean I fell off a few times back in the day so in my, tea, in my, uh, my leather with me jeans and trainers going to work and whatever and we're going to do now then we're going to do a bit of a loop now so we're hoping to go follow this road round should the, the river loon and the m6 should be on the left of us until we get to the end when we go underneath the m6 and over well over the loon and under the m6 and then we come back and we uh, stop off at, uh, might stop off at that lay-by where we go and then I'll come back then because um, the, that road there is the T-Bay to Kendall Road so uh, I'll turn off that then and then we'll end up back on the Sedbury Road Morning. Presume it's this way. No signposts anywhere along here. And it kind of opens up in a bit. Then we're having uh, on Sunday. We're having a bit of a, a bit of a do round at ours. Some for, uh, local friends coming round. I wasn't going to bother, but 
My wife uh, said that I couldn't let my 60th go by without celebrating it. Which is true. Ooh. I would have liked to have seen that sign saying T Bay then, but it didn't. It stands to reason, I think. I don't know how interesting this uh, this video is going to be really, but um, it's something uh, my wife wanted me to do, so... Yeah, God, the weather has been absolutely bloody awful up here. I know other, pa other parts of the UK, it's not been too bad at times, but... For about three weeks, we've only sort of like mastered, well mastered, mustered, uh, one, one or two days. None of them joined together. It's rained at least once throughout the day, and I don't, I don't ride in the wet because uh, I don't like being soggy. No enjoyment for me. Hats off to all those of you that do ride in the in all weathers, though. I want to come up here in my camper van. Very, very few passing places. We're reading over there, look. And there's the M6. I don't know if you can see it. This is getting better, isn't it? More, getting a bit more open now. He says. Stay there, sheep. Take a photo here. See you in a minute. Right, we're back. There might be a bit of a better um, photo opportunity up here a bit. 
so I might end up stopping again in a minute. But that's the motorway, the M6. And there's the River Loon, which goes all the way down to uh, Lancaster. But yeah, this is the uh, this is the road that we can see from the lay-by that um, we'll call in on in a bit. You have to excuse my throat today. I seem to have a bit of a bit of a gravelly voice going on. Beautiful up here, isn't it? I mean, I know that, uh, I say the motorway's just there, but it's quite remote, isn't it? Bloody sheep shit everywhere. So, yeah. These are the Howgills. These it looks. These uh, sheep will be ready for getting shorn soon, won't they? It's great how the M6 just splits into two up there. Well, all the way along that section, really. If any of you have seen my other videos, you'll see the uh, bit further up where I go in between them. This road's got to do something pretty drastic now. We've got to go to the left somewhere, I'm sure. Nice bridge, isn't it? We'll take a photo of here, people. <laughs> right, see you in a minute. Right, lovely here. Be daft. Go on, pull her off. Uh. 
I don't know if you can pick that up in the mirror. Not a bad view, is it? A bicyclist. A friendly bicyclist. Trying to see if you can see that lay by. And if it isn't where that track oh you probably can't see it. There's a tractor right over there in the distance. My birthday celebration started really last weekend. That uh, my brother-in-law and his wife come and stay. That's always a silly time as well. Yeah, so it's official. I'm going to be an old git. Oh. I'll tell you what didn't help. Most places tend to think, I think most places, the OAP age is um, like if you were to get a concession on something, it's uh, I think it's 65 is it or something, it's when you get your pension anyway. Anyway, we were talking to a, a, an antique centre in Lancaster and uh, the, when, it, when it went, it said four adults and then my wife chirped up, said 108p, and the, the, the fellow behind the counter said, well actually, our OAP rate starts at 60. So uh, the sister-in-law said, oh well, that's it then, we're all over 60, so we've got a discount. That didn't help me, really. <laughs> That's coming over the loon now. It's a nice this this second half of this look this road's really nice. I feel like it. Oh hello, we've got a, we've got a junction up here, where the hell do we go? I'm wanting to say. Was that to the farm? Or is that not? Huh? Hmm. Maybe it's this way then. Andy, if they put some bloody signposts up, wouldn't it? Give you a bit of a clue. Oh yeah, we're on the right way. There we go, this is the... So this is the T-Bay to uh, Kendall Road. I can say you'll have seen the... Uh, I'm some of the other videos have been on here. I'll pull in that lay-by. Show you where we've been.
They can't really see the M6 so well now from here, with all the foliage. But it's down there, was the M6. Then you can probably just see a car disappearing up there. And we've been all the way along that like little wall line. Yeah, it's all right that. Second half was nicer than the first. Right. So now we're going to go up here a bit. And then turn off. That other road's a bit like uh, the first half of this one was. We'll let on a stretch the legs a bit up here. down here now and look over the uh, Lakeland Fells tempted to put my uh, summer gear on today but um, I'm glad I didn't Bunny. You know how, um, how people keep, I mean, I don't like politics, so I'm not going to go there, but you know how all these, uh, what are they, uh, people, all these people anyway, keep going on about turn it, going in, getting rid of fossil fuels and getting electric and all the rest of it, and uh, I, ne I never hear anything about, mentioned about aviation. And, uh, and space exploration. I'm sure, damn sure that, that planes and spaceships, spaceships, whatever, are uh, polluting the atmosphere a damn sight more than my little motorbike is. Or the car. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? No longer in use. Hey, oh bloody bin man! I thought it, I thought it was bank holiday. Yeah, 
So, I would have thought that, uh, like I say, I would have thought aeroplanes and SpaceX shuttles and whatever. I would have thought that would be more harmful to the environment. Ah, what do I know? Lovely greenery in it. Lovely green dappled. And a horrible road surface. Ugh. Yeah, so we came up before. We came up the... Uh, so the, the river loom was on our left hand side and then we're coming down now and it's yeah it's on our left hand side again. We're either side of the river loom. To get to uh, Sedba from mine is about uh, 22 miles and they've re-graveled a section that's about six, six or seven miles long and it's a bloody nightmare because they've just left all the gravel loose. Of course all of the four-wheelers, they don't give a crap do they? I come in the opposite direction and bloody getting peppered with bloody gravel. Ah, oh, so. Yeah, you got your bumped up. Oh yeah, and it's uh, Appleby Horse Fair coming up. So where it wasn't covered in gravel, it was all covered in horse crap. <laughs> I see, saw some of the... Uh, the uh, original gypsy caravans, Romani caravans, horse drawn. They look kind of cool, don't they? Ooh. Like I said before, I don't know how interesting this uh, you'll find this video, but. At least I'm out on the bike again. God, I'm starting to forget what it's like. I put on that short, uh, that short video around the block video uh, because 
just to try and keep a bit of uh, interest up on the channel. Oh, there's another viaduct. Fancy, isn't it? There we go. So we go left now, down there. That's where we started. But we're going to go right because I'm not going down that bloody, fresh gravel road again. 